Uh, so, uh, welcome to my show. Uh, um, uh, today I'm here with Zach Hample. He goes to uh, major league stadiums and catches uh, baseballs. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, the first question I wanted to ask was, what prompted uh, you to start your own uh, YouTube channel? You know, I had been writing books and writing a blog for a long time, and I met someone who had a bit of experience doing videos. And, you know, he used to take pictures of me at games for the blog, and we decided one day to try filming. And it was just a really fun sort of bonus way to share my adventures with everyone. And it took a little while, but eventually it really started taking off. Nice. Um, uh... Uh, how did you start your idea of uh, catching the baseballs at the stadiums? Well, that started long before the YouTube. You know, I'd been watching games on TV since I was a little kid. And the cameras often zoom in on fans who have caught or, you know, grab baseballs off the ground when everybody's scrambling for them. And it just looked like so much fun seeing everybody celebrating. And I really wanted to experience that. So I went to my first game when I was six but I had no clue how to do it. So it wasn't until I was 12 that I finally got my hands on a batting practice ball. And I was just hooked from there and wanted to keep going and figuring out more tricks and ways to catch more and more balls. Hmm. Nice. Uh, all right. Uh, my next question is a lot of people uh, at my school like uh, the Yankees and Dodgers, but I like the Red Sox. And I was wondering if you had any connections with these organizations. I have a bunch of connections to the Yankees because I snagged A-Rod's 3,000 hit baseball. So, you know, I was dealing with the head of Yankees security. Mm -hmm. I met with the Yankees president, Randy Levine. I met A-Rod as well at a press conference. And, you know, I'm I'm still in touch with not all these people, but, you know, I, I have sort of deep roots in that organization. I know a lot of employees at that stadium, security personnel and whatnot. Um, with the Red Sox, I've been friends for a long time with someone who's worked in the front office doing analytics. He's unfortunately going to be moving on to another job, but, um, you know, I was friends with Richard Blyer as well, who was playing on the Red Sox as, as a relief pitcher this year. So, um, Fenway Chris, my, my full-time videographer from a few years back, he used to work there and he knows everybody. So got to go behind the scenes with him. Uh, with the Dodgers, you know, I've done some stuff with them over the years. They featured me in Dodgers in their uh, in like their Dodgers magazine when I snagged my four thousandth lifetime baseball, which I did at Dodger Stadium. Um, you know, again, I've worked with a few media people there and chatted with security a bit, but no, like beyond that, not so much. Um, but I've had nice times at all those stadiums, caught balls at all of them, game home runs, so. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, and then uh, since you collect uh, all these baseballs, I was wondering uh, what commemorative baseball uh, did you like most and why? Which commemorative? Yeah. So I'm not a Yankees fan, even though everybody thinks that I am. Like, I wear this hat for a reason. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a fan of the sport and more of individual players, but um, in fact, I was a Mets fan growing up, so I was supposed to hate the Yankees. Like, that's how it works. But, I mean, Derek Jeter was one of my all-time favorite players. And when I snagged a Jeter commemorative, I guess that was, what, at the end of 2014? Um, I, I think I was more excited about getting that commemorative than any other commemorative. I don't know, the Father's Day ball that I got in, I think, 2017 in Cincinnati – I mean, I almost cried when I got that one. I was really thinking of my dad who had died seven years earlier at that point. So yeah, commemoratives are very meaningful. Probably those are two of the big ones for me over the years. Hmm. And, uh, and then, and, uh, are you biased towards any New York baseball team? Biased toward them? Yeah. I mean, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for the Mets just because I grew up as a Mets fan, but I don't find myself rooting for them at this point. Um, the Yankees, I've never particularly rooted for them, but I love so many of their players. So I always root for those guys. 
I mean, it is impossible for me to root against Aaron Judge. I don't even care what team he's facing, what pitcher, what the situation is. I'm rooting for that guy. He's so nice. And I don't know. I mean, I, I love Jeter, like I mentioned, Mariano, um, Bernie Williams, Don Mattingly and Ricky Henderson when I was a kid, Dave Winfield. I mean, I've always loved certain players. Um, I think the Steinbrenners are not the best people. And I have some issues with how Yankee Stadium has been run over the years. Some of the policies, there are very anti-fan. So, um, you know, I, I just want people to be treated well. And I've had some issues at both New York stadiums with how fans are treated. So uh, it's hard for me to root for those teams. But, you know, there's so many players that I like that I'm not just like a straight up hater or anything. Like I'm, I'm a baseball fan ultimately. So yeah. bias for, bias against, I don't know. Probably all comes out as being flash. And then my last question is, what do you enjoy most about going to the baseball stadium and collecting my opinion and collecting baseball? I think it's really just about being like the center of attention and beating the odds and being connected to America's pastime. Like if you get that ball, 40,000 people have their eyes on it even more people on TV and it's just, it's such a rush. And I just love being able to make videos and share my adventures with people and raise money for a children's baseball charity in the process. All right. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the time. Hey, it was great chatting. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and that'll do it with the, uh, the interview. I'll see you later. All right, my man. Great chatting.